I'm here today with Point Loma junior forward, Ben Akoten, senior, Sterling Summers, and head coach, Matt Logie. Point Loma is coming off a 90 to 59 win against Notre Dame Dayton Ward in their final home game of the season. Coach Logie, could you take me through a couple thoughts on this game? Well, I think more than anything, um, you know, we, we strive to, to honor Sterling tonight and uh, everything that he's meant to this program uh, over his four years. Uh, we really wanted to model our, our game you know, after him, and uh, you know, he's as selfless a guy as I've ever coached. Um, he's incredibly tough. Um, you know, he buys in and bought in. You know, to two coaches over his four years, and um, the results speak for themselves. You know, I think uh, when people look back on his time here at Point Loma, um, they're going to say Sterling Summers, you know, really helped change, you know, the the trajectory of of Point Loma as a Division two institution, and uh, I'm. Forever grateful for uh, the way he bought into to our staff when we got here last spring, and it's made our transition incredibly smooth. And, and he's allowed us to coach him. Um, just really proud of him, proud of our guys for for stepping up and honoring him today in, in, in the way that they played. Fantastic. And I do got to make a quick comment. Sterling has won seventy two percent of the games since he's been here. He helped lead Point Loma to its first two regionals, and even helped take him to the national championship game last year. So. Very storied career, definitely the most successful Point Loma's ever had at the D2 level. Um, it's been incredible on that one. Well, I do want to talk a little bit about this game before we hear a couple words from Sterling. Um, I want to talk to Ben just a little bit. You guys had five players in double figures. I feel like that's what you guys strive for each game. Sterling did lead the way today with 21 points, but talking about just sharing the ball, I thought the, the workout that was really good where everybody was involved in the offense and the ball was moving really well tonight. Yeah, that's something we've been trying to uh, just continue to build uh, with our team, just sharing the ball and creating for other people. We had 19 assists tonight, we just shared the ball really well and you know, we, we have a lot of really talented players on our team so if we just keep moving the ball and it finds open people then the results will speak for themselves. We scored 90, 90 points and had a lot of assists so it looked good. I'm going to put you on the spot one more time before we go to Sterling. Tell me about the opportunity you had to play with Sterling the last two years. What has it meant for you and what has leadership has he shown to you during the time here? Yeah, it's been it's been great. Sterling's been one of the best teammates I could ever ask for and have ever had. He's he always puts the team first, always puts other people ahead of himself, and he uh, he always he's always a really really good example of just how to come in and get your work done day in day out, and take care of business. And he's just been he's been a great friend, a great teammate. He's he's everything any of us can ask for as a senior leader. Sterling, tell me about just being on this team for the last four years and. You see your father, your mother in the stands all the time. It feels like you guys really had a good run here at Point Loma. Just what has this run at Point Loma meant to you? Yeah, I mean, I'm just so grateful and I feel so blessed just to be down here. Um, I originally wasn't even supposed to come here, but kind of got lucky. And uh, so just from year one, this place is special. Uh, not even the basketball program, but just the campus, the people that's on it. Um, everyone involved in Point Loma, not just the basketball program is uh, special, but I've been lucky enough to have like great coaches that believe in me from day one. And a lot of, a lot, the first three years were great as well. But then what I've been so grateful for this last year is just Coach Logie, number one, leading us and bringing in his staff. has just been incredible. And I've learned so many skills myself, just that'll stay with me for the rest of my life. Um, just from Coach Logie and his leadership and the traits he's brought to us. But Point Loma basketball, it's just, done so much for me already, more than I could even, um, more than I can even expect coming in and by a mile. Um, I've just enjoyed my experience so much here and I know it's going to be special for years to come with this guy at the helm and uh, I can't say enough about the culture that we have right now and the culture that's going to be established in the future. I wish like, I wish like I had three more years. I wish I was a freshman right now, but uh, yeah, it's been so special here, and I couldn't be more grateful for every year, really, especially this last year. Well, fantastic. Well, we do look forward. We've got to make a quick comment. You guys have two more games on the road next week. You guys will definitely be in the PacWest tournament and have your eyes set on going to the regional again. So it's definitely not the end of Sterling's career, but just the end of his home career. So, Sterling, thank you for all the great memories, and thank you guys for being here tonight.